Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How's everyone doing good. today with the cold and everything? I'm good. Good. All right. Cold. It's cold. <laughs> All right. Here's a little protocol on um, on the Zooms. Now, of course, this first week I am not taking roles, so it's not it's nothing to worry about. However, moving forward on Friday Zooms, we need your first and last name in your caption so that I can be able to count you as presence in class. So in the future, remember when you come on Friday Zoom, uh, I need your first and last name in the caption. Uh, I will remind you, of course, a few more times, but uh, please remember, I would need your first and last name in the caption so I can get that information. Also, uh, Ms. Williams, good morning to you as well. Uh, also, as you know, um, and I forgot, of all people in the world who forgot it was me, uh, that we have the holiday on Monday. So, of course, we won't be available. And you do know that CAS, uh, the university will be closed on Tuesday because of inclement weather. Even though we were supposed to get some weather today, we have not yet. It just decided to move a little slowly. Uh, we will get that weather. So I will also keep you informed uh, when um, if things have changed and uh, if we have to do any updates. So another uh, housekeeping issue here uh, right now is that this is this class is currently being recorded. I will uh, use this recording uh, not only for this class, which I will post right after we're done, but it will be used for my honors course, my 930 Tuesday and Thursday course, and for my online course. Uh, the reason being is that this morning, my 9 a.m. honors class was canceled because the university is closed. Uh, my 9.30 class for Tuesday and Thursday will not meet next Tuesday because the university will be closed. So um, in my online class, well, they need this introduction into how to access your book how to uh, uh, the review of the syllabus. But it's like I said, this is this is gonna be kind of boring, but it's gonna be very informative. Please pay attention. I mean, nobody likes to read a syllabus, trust me. You know what, I'm a PhD student and I still get syllabi from, from professors. I don't like to read it. So I'm with you. However, I want to go over this with you because I don't want to do uh, silly stuff as give you a syllabus quiz. Makes no damn sense to give you a syllabus quiz. And um, the syllabus, of course, has multiple things in it, information in it that will help you move forward. So right now, before we get into the uh, syllabus part, I'm going to go into the book review part. And I'm going to show you how you access your book. Uh, right now, I'm just simply going to show you how to access Basic U.S. Government, A Modern Perspective is a book that I wrote. Uh, we will use this for the first half of the semester after spring break. We will use We the People, and I'll do another review at that time. But I want to show you how to do it because you need to get access to your book in order to get access to your assignments. And if you don't have access to your assignments and be able to uh, put your information or answer the questions to the assignments in that book, I won't be able to grade them and you won't get a grade. So let's start there. And um, before I go any further, does anybody have any questions or comments? We all good? No questions. Okay, very good, very good. Yeah, let's roll and see if we can get, get out of here pretty quick. Uh, you know, all week has been has been that way with me because I like the first week to be just kind of chill. And I don't like to loaf around. So 
Now, I'm going to switch it to your view here on Canvas. When you come to Canvas, on your homepage, this is what you should see. You should see professors, class, tech info. Yeah, that's, of course, that shouldn't be spelled that way, but that's okay. We are in the 11 a.m. classes. Of course, my 9 a.m., my 9.30 a.m., and my online class, you know, this is uh, this doesn't necessarily apply to you, only uh, uh, it applies to you in a way in which your Canvas is structured. Uh, it gives my office location, my times, and this is something we went over in class, but it doesn't help to review how to call or text, email me, which you can uh, uh, click on the link, click here to schedule an appointment. And then we come down to eBooks, Basic U.S. Government, and We the People, your syllabus, your syllabus supplement. If you have Canvas issues, how you can uh, email Jason Henderson or call Jason directly or ITS desk. You can contact them. And of course, our Friday Zoom, which it seems like you have found. Now, there's only 15 here. We have more students in this class. So maybe the rest of them will find them later. We will see. But let's go to our book, Basic U.S. Government. Now, I'm going to leave the student environment because uh, since this is a dummy student account, certain things won't work correctly. And I want you to be able to see how this works as close as possible. So I switch back to my creative mode here and go through basic US government. Now, if you're at your desk or laptop, follow along right now, this will help you access your book. Click basic US government, click that link. And you will come to Brightwave. Do, 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 do. Now, you will see two books. I do not understand why this book is here because this book is not for this class. But it is what it is. We click on U.S. government. And we'll get this screen here. This screen right here will show you to acquire access code and you just simply click. Having trouble with it? Of course, it's gonna have trouble with it. Well, anyway, when you do retrieve the access code, and of course it's blocking me out because I already have special access, it's gonna take you to another page and let's see if I can get this going here for you. Similar as this. And it's going to have you put in your access code right here. And once you place in an access code, and I got a dummy one right there, if it allow it, it will ask you what your institution, if Langston's not already there, you need to put Langston. U.S. government's not there, put U.S. government. Then you click next. Then what you do is choose your class and your section. Now, right now, we are in the 11 o'clock class here in our section. And let me get over here and I'll find it. I don't always have memorized. It's 20426. Our 11 o'clock class section is 20426. Honors class, yours is 20053. That's 20053 for honors, 20089 for U.S. government online. That's 20089 for U.S. government online. And 20270 for U.S. government 930. 20270 for U.S. government 930. So what you do is you just simply choose your section. This is our section right now. Do you get, how do you get to this website? Yeah, I lagged a little bit when you're doing it. Okay. You want me to go back for a sec? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Let me go back. Now, 
you know how things are. It may not work right, but we'll try. <laughs> All right. Now, I'll just stop right there. Now, this is how you get to the website. You. You get here, and it'll say Acquire Access Code. You click that. Now, even though this is messing up for me, you will have an access code here. You copy and paste it. I mean, you copy or cut it. And there should be a link right below to say go to website or go put it in. Or you see this right here, right under it? There's the web address. And you copy it, put it up here. Boom, it'll take you there. Okay. Everybody got that? Yep. Okay, cool. See. And then once you put your access code here at the bottom, because it'll say access code, hit next. Once you're at this page where it says choose your online publication <coughs> for institution, choose Langston University. Online publication should be U.S. government. Once you've entered those, just click next. Choose your section. Our section for 11 o'clock is 20426. Click here. Boom. And you will get this application. Complete this information, all the required fields. You see where the red stars are? And then you click next, and that should be it. You should have access. Once you have access, after you've completed this, this is what everything's gonna look like. Give me a second and I'll go back here. And you're going into my environment so you can, so I can give you an example. Under your section 20426, it will look like this. And boom. Will be my book, will be the forward. Read the forward and then just go to next. You'll see my mug when I was about over 100 pounds larger. And just read all this information. It's just me introducing myself. And then we'll start here. And you just start with the introduction. And you move forward. Now, it is very important, and I'm going to assign this, that you read this introduction because this is a very integral part of this book and understanding the philosophy. Now, you may, you may think, why should I give a damn about the philosophy of the book? Well, it's very important because uh, it is something that sets your mind up to understand how the information is going to be delivered to you, what you're in for. It, it sets your mind up to ask certain questions. Because things in this class are going to be stated differently than what you've ever learned in U.S. government. Uh, let's, uh, to just be real about it, uh, being uh, what I call a reasonable conservative, conservative, there is more of a conservative lean here, but not much. Because I don't believe in being so political leaning one way in U.S. government. I wanted to give it as bland as possible, but how you are raised will determine that lean just a little bit. So I just want you to be aware. However, when it comes up to different concepts and issues, there is no leaning. It's going to be just straightforward over your head what it is. However, you're also looking at this, and I like to say it this way, you're looking at this from a black man's perspective. 
who grew up in this nation, who is 53 years old, who is a little, who's a reasonably conservative. And it's giving that perspective of what I have learned through all these years in U.S. government and what it means. And this is to help you develop your understanding of how your government and what it means and how you can take action in the future to make sure as future leaders to keep this country going. So read this, of course, finish the introduction and go into chapter one. In chapter one, why should I study U.S. government? I don't have the time. Government doesn't affect my life. I don't pay attention to politics. High school government was enough. You know, those yada, yada, yada things that you've already said. And then we go into the importance of critical thinking. It explains certain aspects of critical thinking. And we will cover this more next week. But this is what you're going to read, the introduction in chapter one. And we're going to talk about information, misinformation, and disinformation, the different aspects of it. And the conclusion, and guess what? This will be your first assignment here. And in your first assignment, simply read the question, answer the question here. Now, you notice, it says chapter one, collaborative assignment. What that means is simply you can work with your classmates on getting the right answer. Now, I will have a specific lecture for this. And if for some reason we're not face-to-face, -face, I will record it and post it so you'll have the full lecture. I will also leave the PowerPoints in Canvas so you'll have access to them. But when seeking the answer, after listening to the lecture, after reading the book, you guys can work together to develop it. But remember, each of you, once you put an answer here and submit this, that is your answer. That means it's your grade. So don't just rely on someone that you think is smart, knows the answer, blah, blah, blah. You can trust him, but you better verify that that answer is right based on the lecture and what you've read. Remember, you are responsible for your own grade. Everybody got that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So any questions or comments on how to get here? Everybody got this down? Yes, sir. We all good? Okay. Very good. All right. Let us move back. And I'm closing things. I'm doing things that I'm not supposed to do. You know, you're not supposed to just close them. I'll just, just log out. I don't care. All right. Let's go back into U.S. government. And let's do this boring part. And we're going to go over the syllabus. Again, I'm going to go to student view. And I'm going to scroll down. And we're going to go to U.S. Government Spring Syllabus. And I'm going to pop this open so that we'll all see it here. And here's basically the abstract of here. Uh, the purpose, the purpose that average American citizens should study their government is to secure and maintain the birthright of liberty for all Americans in the present and in the future. Now, think about this. The purpose that average American citizens should study their government is to secure and maintain the birthright of liberty for all Americans in the present and the future. Remember, your U.S. government, your country right here, your country that many of you and your parents have told you, say, I don't care about anything. It's your birthright. It is yours. It is something that your ancestors have built. Free and non-free. They have spilt blood for this. 
This is yours. You need to go and claim it. You can't let others just govern it without your voice. This is your birthright. So that's enough soapbox moment. Let's go down to here, Langston University, School of Arts and Science. And my syllabus has a table of contents. Faculty office, catalog description, required textbooks, yada, yada. I'm not going to go over that. But we're going to get to everything here. All right. Again, here's my information. And even how you can schedule an appointment. You can copy and paste that into a, a browser. You can schedule an appointment with me. You get the course the catalog description. You have the required textbooks, We the People by Thomas Patterson, and Elick Jerry D, Basic U.S. Government, A Modern Perspective, right here. Required equipment. This course requires that you have a desktop or a laptop computer with Microsoft Windows, Apple OS, or Google OS software installed with the current software update. Please make sure you have that, guys. Always bring a pen and notebook paper or a laptop computer to class to take notes. Please do that. You don't have to bring a blue book anymore. We've done something differently. All right. As we go down, we'll tell the reason why this course is important and required and the objectives of this class. We will show you the methods of instruction and the coursework. And the coursework says there will be a total of 100 percentage points possible in class, and those points will be captured using a variety of methods, weekly assignments and class assignments, which are due at the end of the class period. Any in-class assignments submitted after the class period will be considered late. If an assignment is compl completed after the due date, it is considered late and will receive a late penalty of 20%. If the assignment is not completed by the closed date, the assignment will be considered closed, and the uncompleted assignment will receive a zero grade. Once an assignment has been closed, it will not be reopened. Please remember that. Unless the reason complies with the Langston University attendance policy listed below in the syllabus. So we'll eventually get to that. Assignments will consist of quizzes in class assignments and weekly assignments and additional assignments your instructor may add. Extra credit. Extra credit for work not completed will not be provided. The only credit available will be from the given assignments. So no extra credit. Don't ask for it. I don't give it. Exams. This course will have one overall comprehensive final exam. The exam would be drawn from the PowerPoints provided by the instructor, notes, textbook, readings, and supplemental material that I may offer. Exam will consist of a mixture of multiple choice questions and essay questions, and students will have to complete the exam within a specific time frame provided date to you by the instructor. All right, I don't need to go any further. Exam exemption. I mentioned this the other day. There are two ways that a student has an opportunity to be exempt from the final comprehensive exam. A student must maintain a cumulative grade of an A throughout the semester, and this student will be will automatically earn an exemption from the final. Number two, a student must maintain a, a cumulative grade of B throughout the semester and will automatically earn an exemption from the final but has the option to sit for the final comprehensive exam to increase their overall grade to an A. Any student with a cumulative grade of a C or less is required to sit for the final exam. All right. Let me talk about this right here. This is number two. A student must maintain a cumulative grade of a B throughout the semester and will automatically earn an exemption but has the option to sit for the final comprehensive exam. If you have a B and you are exempt, take the exemption. 
okay? Please, I'm warning you, please take the exemption. Because if you decide to try to bump your grade up from a B to an A by taking the final exam, understand you are gambling. Because if you do poorly on that final exam, it will drop your grade. There's no way going back. Once you have committed and decided to take that final exam, it will be in your overall grade. So it's a possibility you could lose your B in an unfavorable way. So if you got that B, take it. And let me tell you something, all of you. That B, if it is in my class, it's not going to matter. It is what you have learned and move forward will matter. So if you got the B, take it, go forward, don't worry about it. All right. Participation in class discussion is highly important for everyone throughout the week. Without participation and learning, the concepts in class will be difficult. Preparation. Before class is a must to be proficient in learning the concepts in the class and attendance. Attendance is required daily as per our standard university policy. Attendance will be taken as a sign-in sheet in class. Students missing seven days of class will receive an administrative withdrawal. So please, please don't miss any class. We have technology requirements, the difference between online, traditional, and flex course information. The methods of evaluation. The final grade will be based on potential total of 100 points. These points will be awarded in the following manner. Assignments will be 50%. Final comprehensive exam will be 50%, which total 100. So, and of course, the regular grade breakdown. If an assignment is completed after the due date, it is considered late and will receive a late penalty of 20%. If an assignment is not completed by the close date, the assignment will close and the uncompleted assignment will receive a zero. Once an assignment has been closed, it will not be reopened for any reason unless the reason complies with the Langston University attendance policy listed below. Here's the course outline. We're in general information unit right now. Functional unit will start next week. Institutional unit will start from week six to nine. After spring break, it will be the political unit and then the public policy unit and then the final exam. The Langston University classroom requirements of behavior. Students can expect a professor to provide an educational experience that seeks to foster the student's personal and professional development and encourages students to become lifelong learners. The professor expects students to come to class, having read the assigned material and prepared for discussion and review. Students are expected to ask questions and offer their viewpoints. However, they are always also expected to show respect for classmates and the professor. Students who engage in rude or disruptive behavior will be asked to leave the classroom. Note, children and guests who wish to visit the classroom must have prior approval of the instructor. Children must remain quiet during the discussion or they will not be allowed back into the classroom. So if you got little children for some reason or your cousin and them or, or, or your, someone's visiting, just let me know before class, okay? Langston University attendance policy. Regular attendance is required. However, additionally, students exceeding seven absences will be assigned an administrative withdrawal. Students who come to class under the influence of illegal drugs or alcohol will be asked to leave, forfeiting any participation attendance points for that day. Continuance of this behavior may result in course withdrawal. All right, guys and ladies, I am a, I'm allergic to weed. I think I've already said that, but I want to restate it. I'm allergic to weed. If I smell it on you, which I can very clearly, and I can point out who is covered with it, I will point at you and ask you to leave. And you will be absent for the day, okay? So if you got to smoke, make sure whatever you're wearing is away from it. Take a good shower and then come to class, okay? 
But if you smoke right before class, don't don't bother coming. Okay, I'm allergic to it. Yes, people get allergic to weed. People are allergic to everything. You'll find people allergic to chicken, to to beans, hell, to shit in the air. But I'm allergic to weed, so please do not break. Langston University policy on electronic devices in the classroom. I know what it says right here. <clears throat> this is what I'm going to say. You can bring your devices into the classroom, but the ringers must be off. No excessive texting in class. If you got to text something that's something so good or something popping off so well, take your ass outside. I don't need to hear. I don't need to hear that stuff. And that's the most ridiculous, asinine thing to do. You're so enamored in texting or, or going in somebody's DMs, you're messing everybody else's education up. If you got to be that deep into it, don't show up for class or just go on outside. If you get a call, go on outside. If you got to make a call, go on outside. If for some reason you're expecting an important call, don't show. It's okay to miss a class or two. Remember, you are all adults. You have the liberty to do what you need to do to get your life in order. No one's holding you hostage. It is up to you to step up and do the right thing. Okay? So you're not being forced to do anything. These are the rules. Just work with them and you'll be all right. Langston University Academic Integrity Policy. Basically, you cheat, I fail you. You cheat a second time, we can get you bounced from the university. Don't cheat. Don't steal anybody's work. Remember, your work is your own. Uh, net etiquette. Come on, people. Don't shame anybody. Don't bully anybody. Don't stalk anybody. It's that simple. All right. Let's see. Our mission statement, our vision statement, and our core values. Strong work ethic and dedication, passion for learning, courage, excellent scholarly innovation and commitment to scholarship, appreciation of difference, fiscal accountability, <clears throat> Social responsibility and commitment to fundamental human rights. That is our, those are our core values. Our Langston University ADA statement is fully subscribes to required standards of the American Disabilities Policy. Please read that. Langston University Affirmative Action and Langston University Extreme Weather Conditions. Please read that because we're going through part of that now and we will go through more of this during tornado season. And Langston University Academic Calendar. Please see Academic Calendar located in the course's online platform for key dates and additional university information. I will upload the Academic Calendar here within the next few minutes. I just wanted to get through this to you. And we are done. Any questions or comments about this, guys and ladies? Pretty straightforward, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's not hard. I don't believe in making it hard. I believe in making this easy and getting it done. So uh, remember, Monday is a holiday, so we're not meeting. But please pay attention into Canvas. I will have your assignments there for you by Sunday afternoon. So please be aware of that, be prepared for that. And if for some reason we do not have class on Wednesday, I will have a video lecture there for you. For people with my online class, there will be a video lecture regardless. Uh, for my 9.30 class, which we were gonna meet uh, um, on Tuesday, remember, just follow the assignments like everybody else. This lecture right here is going to be for you, and we will try to we will catch up again on Thursday of next week. 
But if no one has any questions, comments, or concerns, I will see you hopefully next Wednesday. Wednesday. God bless you all, and you have a good day. And be careful and stay warm. Uh, Professor Elix, what are we supposed to read again? Uh, I will have them. I will have it in Canvas for you by Sunday, okay? Okay. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Okay, you say you're going uh, to have it on there by Sunday? Yes, Sunday afternoon. Everybody else good? All right. Y'all take care.